I thought it had a, a interesting aesthetic, um, stylistically with the um backdrop of environmentalism of the opening with the smog, and I thought the piece um had a good sense um of obviously rhythm with the dance performance, but I thought a good sense of rhythm with the um editing and pacing of the narrative, and I thought it had a good approach to the lighting as well, um using dark and light in a way that I thought. Um, matched with the overall um, intent of the performance, um, dance-wise, and um, also the thematic idea. I thought the piece was trying to carry um, towards the end, and um, they used a sort of trying to loop in sort of big picture ideas about um, humanity, <clears throat> excuse me, and the planet um, writ large, and sort of try to capture that through the um, emotions of the dance performance. So I thought it was um, easy to get into because of the performance was so cohesive between um, everybody on screen. And I thought that it had a good sort of stylistic approach that gave it a, a thematic and narrative feel. I think that the film did a great job of, you know, it was it was kind of like one location and one setup, but it had everything that it needed and it really got the message across, the gas mask filters. Um, I think the thing that was... I mean, obviously, it's uncomfortable to see people in gas masks, but I think what made it more uncomfortable was seeing how, like, normal it was um, in that we saw people interacting and having a great time and other people, like, running and exercising and, like, this is just the new norm. And I think the fact that it was portrayed as the norm was really what made it uneasy. Um, but I did also love that there was this kind of happy ending where they were able to finally take them off and breathe easy. Um, so I really liked this film. I thought that it had just the right amount of discomfort and drama, if you will, um, but then also like had a nice resolution at the end too. Together, their bodies are moving in a painful matter, a suffering manner. You see them choking. You see them, um, in a sense, curling up and and holding themselves uh, into the pain, leaning into the pain, so to speak. We see their lip bodies hanging, and there is this one key moment in within the choreography where they're all. Uh, systemically uh, dancing together, like they're all going through the motions. And I think that's really telling of following in society's steps and expectations. Um, but then also kind of seeing this other side where in doing so, you're kind of causing this act of pain and suffering to yourself, not only to yourself, but to the earth that we get to live in which I think uh, was a very uh, telling act of activism here in the form of expression in a dance. You have everyone in gas masks and they're portraying these mundane tasks like jogging and having a conversation. And um, then they suddenly sink to the floor as if affected by their environment. And it just, to me, reminded me of a nod to COVID, our recent past, um, just to show how society is affected as a whole by events. It's such an interesting concept. Um, the moment where it feels like the performers are choking and then they remove their masks, I thought was very, uh, a, a big art in this, in this piece. And, and, and it definitely was a big moment for me. Um, in the lighted orb, I wonder if this represents a life source, if this represents a new future, if it represents uh, hope. I don't know, but it does seem like everyone's emulating towards it at the end. Um, you know, maybe it just represents air because now, now they can finally breathe again. It was kind of about let's take care of our world. The blue orb at the end, I think, was supposed to be the world and uplifting the world. Um, them taking off their masks at the end. I thought it was really cool. Very nice opening images. Cool title. I think it fits very well. Um, nice lighting with the sheets. I thought that was neat. Great editing and effects throughout. Um, I like the, you know, editing and effects with the different jump shots that were there. What stood out the most for me was the beginning where they're all wearing masks and while they're all standing, they're still like, they're gradually kind of sinking onto the floor where even the masks while they're helping in the beginning, it's 
gradually becoming less and less effective as essentially the quality of the air gets so bad it's slowly killing them. Uh, you know, I, I think that was a very powerful message.